What's going on guys, Orzu here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 94 squad building challenge Munier. Now this card looks absolutely disgusting and I think all of you can agree with me. But, 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 can he play perfectly in a CDM position as well? That's the real question. He is 6 foot 3. So I'm going to guess his interception and tackle reach is obviously beautiful. He has got 93 pace, 92 dribbling, 94 defending, 97 physical and 91 passing with 87 shooting. His CDM card, which was a summer heat card, was pretty decent. I didn't like how he felt on the ball, but tackling wise, it was unbelievable. He has got high, high work rates, which you could obviously question a little bit if you do play him in a CDM position because he will actually make a decent amount of runs and it kind of depends on your play style do you want your cdm to make the run or do you want him to stand still now he has actually got a skill move upgrade which is you know i'm never going to complain about let's all be fair we love full star skillers in the midfield and he has got a four star weak foot as well he is on a engine chem style he is on 10 chem for me engine chem style without a doubt it has to be it literally has to be because the dribbling is just not good enough like the strength the defending the pace all of that is good enough but the dribbling him pretty much how he feels on the ball i don't feel like he's gonna feel amazing let's just say that but he has got 92 acceleration and 99 sprint speed so when he comes down to pace it shouldn't be a problem 97 attacking positioning 83 finishing 89 shot power 90 long shots and 91 follies hopefully we actually get get a shot with him today because Oh, he's actually got the outside foot shot trait. I didn't even know that. But hopefully we do get a shot of him today because I want to see how powerful that shot really is. Now, passing ability. He's got 88 vision, 99 crossing, 99 short passing, 97 long passing, and 87 curve. So, I'm expecting this guy to be a beautiful playmaker when it comes down to just overtopping the ball and take attack in the play. Now, 82 agility, as I said, 70 balance as well. It's not great, is it? Let's all be fair. 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling, and 95 composure. The one thing I love to see, right, is if the person hasn't got great agility or great balance, and they kind of, in a way, the composure kind of solves the problem in a way. I, I don't know. It's like one of those ones where composure is used quite a lot nowadays when it comes down to how composed he is on the ball if he's shielding the player off and stuff like that so 95 composure should be very nice with his 98 strength and i'm hoping he can turn a little bit a little bit that's all i need i need it to turn a little bit because if he can't turn at all yeah it's going to be quite questionable. Let's just say that. 91 interceptions, 90 heading accuracy, 90 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling, and 95 slide tackling. Now, if you really want to, you can put an anchor chem style because you do, the, you do get the aggression boosted as well. But the real question is, would you want dribbling or do you want more aggression? That's, I don't know, that's like personal preference, I guess. But defending-wise, I feel like he's going to be an absolute beast. Physical-wise, 99 stamina, 98 strength, 84 aggression, 83 jumping. As I just said, with the aggression, you can boost it with an anchor chem style. But I don't think he's going to need it. But that 98 strength is going to be unbelievable in the CDM and right-back role. Now... As I said, I will play him in a CDM position in a 4-2-3-1, but he will start off in the right back position because that is, that is his natural position. So why not at the end of the day? But let's get into the games. Okay, so the moment of truth. How does he feel on the ball? Please feel pre- Oh! Oh my god! Wait, hold up a second. So where's the agility going? Look at him. He does not feel bad at all, and that's going to be nice in a CDM position gonna get in the tackle there you go just like that oh i was about to say is he gonna lose the ball after that but he does actually reach out to it i love his transition look how fast his transition is just going left to right you can already tell you're gonna be intercepting pretty much everything i'm gonna push out there gonna go for a slight tackle oh my god can i get a tackle as well boys six foot three in the midfield role is always gonna be overpowered especially with someone that has this much pace we're gonna track back with him Look how fast he is when tracking back, boys. And what a tackle. I didn't even click B there. That was just me holding LT. And he automatically went in. He's probably going to try force this. But at the same time, I feel like, yeah, I was about to say. At the same time, I was like, is he going to just run up? And that's what he did. But we did put in a really good tackle. Let's see how fast he is. Because we haven't actually dribbled with the ball with him. Oh, my God. Little fake shot again. Do you know one thing I like? I can already tell. 
Oh, I was about to say, if he could not get that pass off, that is disappointing. But yeah, I can tell his strength with those fake shots around the corners are super effective. Good tackle. Oh my God, he fell over. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, please just get the ball. Because if he didn't, that would have been a goal. Really good interception. Great defensive awareness as well. The time I switched to him, he was already at the right moment. RB turn. Use that pace. Get down that line. Little fake shot. Can he get in behind? Yes, he can. Through ball, a perfect pass. Honestly, Munier sitting in a right back position right now is not actually terrible because he's got the height for the interceptions down the line, but he also has like the passing ability to hit it down the line. You can tell by just looking here, right? Munier is a person that is going to sit there in the CDM position, even though he has high, high work rates, he still sits quite deep. Now, he will in odd occasions, start running up if you are struggling, like, you know, attacking, let's say. There's no options. Munier will obviously give you that option. And that's something I like about high, high work rate CDMs, that they don't always sit back. But at the same time, you could get hit on a counter-attack and it could cost you a goal. I'm going to do a fake shot here. Turn. Four-star weak foot all the way over to... Oh, my God, boys. Look at a pass. It's literally spot on. And look at him sitting in the CDM position once again, not going forward at all. Even though I have got him and stay back while attacking, people tend to go for... Oh, actually, hold up. No. Oh, my God. No. Boys, he is so jammy. It's crazy. The amount of tackles he puts in, I was trying to get a long shot there. And that's why I was forcing the drag back. Take that touch. Not the greatest touch. That is something I can say. Great dribbling. Going to pass back to him. Going to go for that power shot towards the near post and Van der Sar actually saves it. I didn't really expect that to go in because it wasn't the greatest angle. I'm going to press this a little bit just because I want to read that lane and look how perfect it is. Hey, have you noticed, by the way, the difference between him and like a 5 for 8 player? The fact that a 5 for 8 player tends to allow the ball to go straight through him time to time. With Munier, it does not go past, trust me. He's got amazing defensive awareness to the point where I switch to him and he's already in the right place. So I can obviously go press the player. Great strength. Good touch as well. Oh my god. I love the way the ball sticks to his feet, even in like tight situations, but there is that odd occasion he does take a bad touch time to time. Going to press him a little bit here. Oh my god, it's so good when it comes down to interceptions. And I feel like he's so wasted in that right back position that you literally have to play him in that CDM position. Because you do not need a 6 foot 3 player in the right back position. It's just a waste. And him in the CDM position is so good, boys. I'm going to go for a slide tackle here. It is going to be a perfect slide tackle. I'm telling you, boys, when it comes down to defending, he is out like insane at it. He kind of reminds me of like a, a prime Vieira for some reason. Going to go in for a tackle here. Oh, my God. You know, that's moment to it. Moment to it. He's just bodied off the ball. Wow. Look at that. He feels so comfortable on the ball. It's crazy. Over top through ball as well. Going to be a perfect pass. I'm trying to see if I can get this towards De Bruyne. I can. Little ball roll. Should be a finesse shot into the far corner. And we do get a goal. Nice touch. Close quarter dribbling. Uh, you see what I mean? I literally said that earlier. He is so good when it comes down to like under pressure. And that's because of his composure. Take shot. Touch. Ball roll. Finesse shot. Green all the way to the top. Bins. Oh my god, man. What can't this card do? Please, someone tell me he can dribble, he can shoot, he can pass, he can defend, he's got strength. Like what? What am I seeing on my screen? So it is time to review him and what can I say? This card is so good. I'm honestly lost for words. Three games, one goal, we all saw the goal. Oh my god, a finesse off from how far? Greened, top bins, you couldn't get a better goal. You really, really couldn't. So... I don't really want to answer this question, but I know a lot of you will ask it. Delaney or Munier? Now, the real question is, why not both? They link up perfectly with each other, so why not both? Both of them, I'm telling you, could be the best CDM partnership we have seen in a very, very long time. The best, I'm talking, I'm talking the best partnership that we have ever seen. It's just so good, the fact they can attack and at the same time, defend perfectly. Now, is he worth it? I said at the start, he's going to be worth it. It's an 81 rated team. That's insanely cheap 
for a 94 rated. Now, six foot three. Something I can say before we do obviously review him is he is better in a CDM position than he is in a right back position. I feel like he is so wasted in that right back position to the point where you need to play him in the CDM position. It's just the perfect position for him. Now, six foot three, interception reach, tackle reach, unbelievable. One of the best tacklers. I'm talking about prime moments Vieira kind of standards when it comes down to tackling with this guy. High, high work rates. You did see him time to time make a run forward, but in most occasion, he did stay back. Uh, the four-star skill moves was really nice. I even forgot he had four-star skill moves, but the four-star weak foot, now that's where it's about. Now, pace-wise, it has to be a 10 out of 10. He is one, one of the fastest CDMs I have ever seen. Now, shooting, I'm not going to over-exaggerate it because 10 out of 10 is standards of like Mbappe, team of the season, team of the season Ronaldo, team of the season Neymar. And obviously, he doesn't have those kind of finishing stats. But I will give him an 8.5 when it comes down to shooting. Passing ability, 10 out of 10. With the fact they can pass with both feet as well, just makes it, you know, 10 times better, let's say. Dribbling aspect. If I had to be real with you guys, if we're saying CDM-wise, when it comes down to dribbling, he is probably the best dribbler I have ever used in that CDM position. I cannot believe how good he kept the ball to his feet in close, in close encounters, let's say, where he literally got like surrounded by three players and somehow he would come out with a ball. I don't understand how we did it, but he did it. So I am going to give him a 10 out of 10 when it comes down to dribbling. Defending aspect, it has to be a 10 out of 10 as well. Come on now. The tackling ability, the interceptions, the defensive awareness, everything was perfect. But physical wise, I'm honestly shocked to say that that's 84 aggression. I have never seen a more aggressive CDM, and the fact that it's only 84 kind of makes you wonder if it was 99. What damage could this card do that it didn't already do? But for that reason, I am still going to give him a 10 out of 10 when it comes down to physicals. But an overall rating out of 10, the card's a 10 out of 10, boys. It's an 81 rated team to get this card. I know the game's pretty much over, but go ahead and get this card for the sake of doing it because... This card, I am honestly lost for words. But Harry Kane also came out in objectives. So I will be doing that card. I will probably get a card in like 30 minutes. Because the challenges don't seem that hard either. But I hope you guys did enjoy the little video. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And for now, peace.